Elementary students were treated to the messier side of science at a big assembly today. Victor Guzman shows you. I'm a trained professional. I have never spilled a drop. <laughs> that was an accident. Smoke rings floated above one of three sessions of students scheduled to take part in an assembly titled The Science of Slime. And although Brian Whittington, designated game show host for the day, says the classroom material is brilliant, he adds with this lesson, they take a look at things with entertainment in mind. We're, we're adding another dimension to the learning. You know, all, all dimensions are important, obviously, right? But this is just a fun way to get people to think, hey, maybe, maybe science is fun. Maybe this is something I want to focus on a little bit more in the classroom. Despite the messy way of getting the message through, Whittington says a series of games and demonstrations allowed for the science aspect of outcomes to stand out. One such case is with Bernoulli's principle, as demonstrated here with two products you could find at home. Fourth grade teacher Parker Hallmark was there and says he approves of the way the game show got the message across to the students. Anytime that you can get them out of the classroom and get them talking about the, the science, they're going to love that. Especially kids love science, no matter what. They, they want to do science instead of anything else. Parker's daughter Hadley also took part in the event and just happened to be the one getting slimed as a member of the winning team. I actually loved it. It was like really scary, honestly. Like watching my team and knowing that they were doing really well and I was just like, oh no. It's an inspirational concept. We're not teaching people how to answer uh, question number three on the test, right? It's uh, getting kids excited about science, showing them a few things they can do at home. By the end of the sessions, about 40 students were a part of each of the three shows. Victor Guzman, KLST News.